So I picked up this cheap premium iPhone USB cable from Pound Stretcher today. It says charge and sync three meter cable. I originally went into B&M and they had a cable on which was two meters and that was 12 pounds and I instantly walked out. I just thought I can't afford that, you know, to say I need so many of these, I'm not gonna be able to buy them for 12 pound each. And that wasn't even, that was an Apple certified, I believe it was, or approved one. However, uh, 12 pounds is far too much. Anyway, we're gonna test this premium iPhone USB cable out and you can see it's compatible with all those models, but we've got the iPhone X there. And one thing that I'll say about this is it's tangle free, it says durable construction and it syncs and charges as well. Supposedly, if you use third party products with the uh, Apple products, it, sometimes you get an error message or a dialog box. So we're gonna go ahead and test that out with the premium cheap uh, iPhone cable iPhone X and then we've got the power bank so let's go is it gonna work because this was one pound 25 I believe it was so let's just say two pound versus uh, 12 pounds so and remember that was three two meters and this is three meters so let's see if it actually works and if it was worth it and that was just a regular looking cable this is tangle free cable as well so I'm gonna go ahead and test that out so we don't need to untangle all of it I guess We'll just take the coil out there. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. See if it actually charges. There we are. Yep, it's charging. We don't have any error messages on there. Again, we're just gonna go ahead and load it up there. 56% charged. So let's just leave it there for a few minutes. So it's on 56% and it's 43 minutes past, so Let's leave it on for a few minutes longer. So yeah, is it really worth it? I don't know what to name this video at the moment because now I'm kind of confused. Um, would you pay £12 for a cable which is shorter in length by one metre compared to this one and it costs so much more? Or would you buy something that's pretty much £2 um, and it does the same job? So let's leave it on for a minute and see how it goes. Is it really going to be worth it? So it was on 56 or 50, uh, 43 minutes so still the same at the moment leave it on for another minute yeah I've always been fascinated by getting some deals like that because you know if you can get it for cheaper it's better for the environment in the sense of the pocket right because you're not having to constantly spend so much money on expensive cables and that way you know you're uh, you're saving in the long run so these are all the other uh, compatible models that it says up to the iPhone 10 there but yeah this was one pound 25 I believe it was so let's see if it's done anything so still on 56% a minute later so let it carry on see the only issue that you're gonna have is you don't want to buy this cable and the downside of it is that this cable is longer it's much cheaper but then it takes much longer to charge so you know double-edged sword isn't it so you can you know you can get more distance in regards to the cable itself but then it takes way longer to charge then would that be worth buying few more minutes see what we get to so this is there's no speed up in this video we're just gonna have to sit through it you can fast forward to the end see what we get so still on 56% so is it really worth it it's been two minutes now and it's still on 56% and bearing in mind it's on flight mode so there's no cellular data or Wi-Fi on or Bluetooth So is it really worth buying this cheap cable versus maybe an expensive one that might charge quicker? Like I said, this isn't a specific test. This is just a trial, I guess. And this power bank isn't exactly um, slow either. So let's take a look at the stats on the back of it. So take a look at the output. power bank
So yeah, I'm starting to think otherwise now that maybe the £12 cable may have actually been worth it. But let's say we'll only find out if this has uh, changed. Still on 56% three minutes later. That is pretty crazy. To say nothing's happening on the phone either, so nothing's changed. And all the, uh, the Wi-Fi and everything's off. Hmm. Right, so... I guess it'll keep a trickle charge or maybe it'll just keep it uh, sustained or possibly slow drain so you'd need some battery there at some point but for, I think this has actually been a fail in regards to buying the cheaper version I'm starting to think otherwise now because it's not even gone oh it's gone to 57 now after uh, four minutes so is that really worth it you decide